Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think, and I don't like saying this, the West is accelerating its state of decay through its own decisions. And I think the West is in a desperate state. And when I say the West, to clarify, it's not you or I, people who live in the West. We are the victims here. The guys that we elected through democratic process. Those, their interests and the guys who are the bureaucrats. Those guys, I think they're in a desperate mode. Why? When you become desperate, you make mistakes or you show your true face, you know, you exaggerate, therefore you give hints and the hints are more obvious than before. So what's going on here? It is obvious that the United States' interests or the guys behind the United States of America and other Western countries' interests are desperate to make sure that they clear any, competi uh, any competitor on this planet. And that is Russia, China, India, whomever. They have big markets over there. But the problem is they will compete with the products coming from those guys and with the political unwillingness to be serfs. So what's going on here? The United States of America sent through other means, remember, F-16 fighter jets, you know, the Netherlands, Belgium, weasels first and then we come in. Why? Because strong people like to fight with other people, you know, not with them. So let's say I'm someone says something to my wife or to whomever and I feel insulted, uh, do I tell you, hey, go and, uh, mm -mm, or I just go and say, motherfucker, bang. Which one do you think is gonna be? I think the second option, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I know. So the second option, if you're strong, if you're not strong, you wait for the guy to look somewhere else and then bang. This is the weak way. The other way is to employ a hitman and so on. So the Americans are employing all kind of little weasels to wash their laundry and uh, com complete their, fulfill their bidding, do their bidding around the world. Now it's Ukraine's turn, could have been Georgia. Georgia was, uh, you know, they tried in 2008, uh, wasn't it in 2008? I think so. Now, what's going on here? Now it's uh, the, U the Ukrainians. So what's going on? Can you imagine the French sending their Mirage to fight the Russians in Ukraine? Now, I see the West this way, like a former heavyweight champion in boxing, who right now is 68 years old, so he's way out over there. And he's gonna show us that I still have it, baby doll. Or you see some, I know, like 73 year old guy that he thinks is still young and walks like this, and you know, he drives this car, you know, convertible, and he still, he thinks he still got it. No, you don't have it. But it's ridiculous because he tries to overemphasize these kind of things. And for people like us from outside, becomes obvious the guy is a loser. So, France, who lost so many wars in this history, just take out uh, Napoleon and that's it. Uh, now, don't be upset with me, my, I don't know how to call you, French people or people who live in France. Because I don't know who the fuck is living over there nowadays. Anyway. Now we have here, France is sending sophisticated fighter jets to Ukraine. Will they crush Russian air dominance? So these guys really want to get involved. These fighter jets will not be flown by the Ukrainian pilots. Why? Did you hear anything about Ukrainian pilots being trained on Mirage? I haven't. I, have, I heard about F-16s. Never on Mirage or Typhoon or whatever, Eurofighter or Saab or whatever those guys have. Nothing like that. Why? Because they will be piloted by the original guys over there. And the Russians know that. And uh, these guys are just uh, soliciting for a nuclear hit in their heads. But hey, and then they're going to claim the politicians were going to come and say, we defend you. But we got you in this position, but hey, we're gonna kind of help you. Like politicians everywhere. They create a problem by not fixing it when they see it. It grows bigger and then guess who? Oh, let me come here, man. I'm gonna solve the problem for you. I'm gonna keep you safe. I'm your daddy. 
of anyway so here he is this heavy mother freaking plane let me show you Arbe de l'air the army of the air it says on its tail you see over there Arbe de l'air beautiful do they have feathers I wonder if the French pilots when they climb in the cockpit uh, they have feathers or anything or in their asses or anything like you know because that's how we Latins are we like to show off but when it's about doing shit we you know uh, don't believe me look what the Italians did uh, in the Second World War and all or the French in the Second World War who saved our asses <laughs> the Slavs and, and the Americans and the Canadians and the, you know it's unbelievable when I first heard that the Canadians saved us I was like what never heard that but anyway nothing just look at this and then again the New Zealanders help us this is, uh, they all won but the Russians I'm sorry I apologize the Soviets anyway with the helps help of uh, the Americans it's true Henry Ford helped a lot of uh, send a lot of trucks over there under the land lease following a D-Day memorial ceremony on June 6 French President Emmanuel Macron who barely is in power announced that France would furnish Ukraine with Mirage 2005 2000-5 multi-role jet fighters by the end of the year and train if you believe that all right uh, train Ukrainian pilots how to operate them in France by then France might not be a country anymore you have too many French people coming over there <laughs> just you go to Paris are you going to Paris if you don't I super dare you drive a car in the Paris neighborhoods and you're gonna see a lot of French people over there <laughs> that's France for you France for you training of pilots and maintain maintainers of French soil was due to begin blah 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 okay good for you this will allow certain involvement a transfer of munition particularly Mika air-to-air -air missiles so, okay these guys want to send Mirage with Ukrainian pilots but hey let me show you this article and you take about maybe three seconds and you tell me what do you take out of this so it's from Ukraine form right there this is Ukraine form and I'm going to show you the title of the Ukraine form I don't know how to hold it because it's uh, all right Mirage clunk 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 right there the title see it I will read it for you now Mirage 2000-5 will not compete but complement F-16 in Ukraine skies experts what do you mean think about it two one zero this is exactly what I mean the arms manufacturing companies who are behind many many things as the bankers and and, and the energy um, uh, department how do you, the energy structures these guys are making the profit they are not allowed remember first were the Americans companies who were allowed to send over there and then everybody else not that everybody oh we don't know if you send that no 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 we, we have to send it we and then we allow you it's a competition it's a commercial between this oh we destroyed s400 and Panzer and S300 and we did this and yeah the Patriot destroyed all the the um, hypersonic missiles all of them man why buy one get one free that's what it is it's a business and these guys are telling you poor Ukrainians eh. yeah poor Ukrainians it's true but who's at fault Zelensky Stein fuck no so here you have they're gonna compliment not compete I think I thought that comp competition is good it's a healthy feeling especially in a capitalist country as France which is a socialist slash communist country it just says it's a capitalist country nevertheless whatever say whatever you want, want my French people uh, go visit <laughs> and then come back to all les enfants de la patrie okay here it is Mirage will not will compliment you're playing with fire with atomic nuclear fire and I guarantee you as a weasel that I am that the Russians will smack you they have a little list not a list li with Poland first Lithuania second Estonia Latvia pop, 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 and then f uh, Great Britain oh, I'm sorry Great Britain should be at the same level as, as Poland and then the Baltic states which they, they just say like uh, <laughs> and the Baltic state <laughs> going to the Baltic Sea and then France the Germans know because the Germans were like oh Zairui just a second no take it easy stay stay put so these guys are and I'm playing with your lives 
Macron is not going to be affected. Brigitte is still going to be dying in what? Pretty soon, she's 3,000 years old. Anyway, uh, dinosaur. But then, never, nevertheless, it's not my business. That's his little mommy. So, and remember, we are not told many things about those two guys, which is not my business. They can fuck how much they want. They can do adultery how much they want, from my perspective. You know, you do it, it's your thing, man. Let others judge you. But the fact is, what they know, it's only what they know. We just see from outside. So what I, I was saying, these guys will be safe and nice over there. I guarantee you that. You, on the other hand, and I will not. We will be like cockroaches. Cockroaches, fucking cockroaches. That's what we're going to be. And no, you know what? They're going to teach our children to hide underneath the desks when the Russians going to send the uh, <clears throat> Tsar bomb. Hey, Johnny and Deshaw go over there and hide underneath that in the schoolyard, in the schoolyard, in the school, uh, whatever, hall, we, uh, under the desk, like they did in the 50s. Garbage, man, garbage. And who created that? Not us. It's someone evil, uh, yeah, Putin. Please. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. And you call closing?